Good morning everyone from Florida once again. Today we start in Crystal River, which is where I'm camping. Stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you exactly uh, what my digs are, but first I'm out adventuring. I'm on Roxy the Rebel motorcycle exploring the uh, coast of Florida in an area where I've not been and I've come across a nice little house for sale. I don't know if I necessarily like the color, but the house is for sale and this house actually comes with a super bonus treat. King Kong. King Kong is actually included with the house. I'm not sure if this used to be a small business of sorts, but uh, today it could be yours with King Kong included. <laughs> kind of cool. Okay. Hop back on the bike here and go have some fun today. Another little curiosity here at the uh, Buick GMC Eagle of uh, Crystal River is, uh, you remember those old strongman competitions? Or maybe this was used in a circus, but they've got a strongman out front advertising GMC. Because, you know, what's more American than a big dude with muscles wearing a Speedo <coughs> saying, come on down, get yourself a Chevy 3500 truck. You know, you want one? I don't, I'm not a Chevy guy, but I, I, I like the effort and I always say, any business that puts something different, quirky, curious out front, you're good in my book. Which reminds me, uh, I actually had a subscriber tell me from one of my previous videos that his dad worked at that steel fabrication, or his, his nephew worked at that steel fabric place that I went to with the metal creatures and stuff. And I, you know, so I, like I said, I wouldn't have stopped there had it not been for something a little different roadside attraction wise, you know? And still to this day, I have viewers ask me, Eric, how do you go to these places and find the weirdest stuff? Well, at least notice that uh, throughout the day, I come across a lot of stuff and a lot of it is not video worthy in my mind. Uh, you know, you probably watch a lot of other YouTubers that upload 30 to 40 minute videos with everything and you're just like, oh, uh. Whereas I also sit down at the end of the day, I have a 30 to 40 minute video. And then I start cutting the crap, cutting the stuff that's yeah. You know, and I try to put some more original type stuff in my videos when I travel. So not everything makes the cut. And that's because I respect my viewers and I know your time is limited. So let's cut the crap and put as much as we can into a little space. Yeah, let's keep going south. We're going to head towards Homosassa Springs, Florida. By the way, it is a warm January day. Not warm, but warm. 88 degrees in January, feels like 92 out here, and every, I'm soaking wet. It is moistly hot out here, and oh, the humanity of it all. Maybe Homosassa Springs might be well known for, for these big cuddly sea teddy bears. They have a visitor center, so I'm gonna go check it out. Look at these magnets. That is so funny with the pink flamingos. I got the pink flamingo magnet because it helps support Florida State Parks. This park is actually a little unique though. It actually started out as a private, almost um, amusement park theme park, and then it got run down. The state, the state of Florida purchased the property. Now the state of Florida has turned it into a state park. And I wanna get some information because they've got some walking tours and, and boat tours. I'm gonna go find out. So you do have to take a boat over to the wildlife park. This boat's full, so I gotta wait for the next one. But that's kind of cool. They had the parking lot and then you get on the boat. 13 bucks to go over. So I'm gonna go check it out and share it with you. boat ride we are on the other side there as you have the don't miss homososa springs sign and the giant fishbowl sounds good um i don't know what all there is this is my first time at the park i don't really know what to expect i know there wasn't a, anything really to see on the boat ride oh we saw some turtles saw some turtles but no gators or other florida wildlife so i'm better when i kind of freestyle and do my own thing so let's see what's going on hey there little guy how you doing well, where to first? River Overlook. I like to go where nobody else is going because everybody just kind of goes to one spot. Ooh, the water's really clear. 
Look at the water there. Let's look for some gators. See any? No, not yet. Okay. I don't see anything here. Oh, it's a huge school of fish right in front of us. These are all fish. See them? <laughs> wow. I like it. School of baby fish over there too. Underwater observatory each way. Okay, I'll bite. Let's go underwater. Oh, down here. Oh, oh, oh cool. <laughs> you can really get close to the fish in here. <laughs> Please excuse the appearance of our observatory windows. They were installed over 50 years ago. Yeah. But down here for a few minutes, there aren't any manatees that you can see through here, so have to keep looking. I gotta find a sea cow eventually though. One thing he said on the boat was to watch out for gators and there's a lot of five to six foot long snakes. <sighs> come on, come on. No, no. No snakes, no snakes, no snakes, no snakes. All right, buddy. I am wearing my uh, Smokey the Bear hat, so there's a, there's a Smokey right there. Poor Australia wildfires. Oh, Mosasa River down there. Look at all those fish. Oh, there's one guy sleeping right there. No, no, everybody else looks pretty happy here. I have a feeling this fence here is here for a reason. It is. We got gators. We got gators. And some sunbathing gators also. Yeah, I'm going to stay out of that body of water. Look how well he blends into everything. Yeah, he thinks we don't see him. Just got word. Something about a manatee feeding time at 1.30. Can I go back to where we first came in so we can find it? They're called sea cows for very good reasons. Their method of eating is very much like a cow. They are grazers. That means in the wild, they'd be grazing off the bottom. The only time you'd be able to get a picture is when they come up to the top, and that's usually just to breathe. Our lettuce floats. So that means that you're going to get some pretty good pictures of them picking the lettuce off the top. Manatees are very dry eaters, meaning that those, the rest of you, when you eat, you make saliva in order to make that food go down. Manatees don't. They don't require an awful lot of water, and part of what they're doing right now, part of the reason they're going under, is to keep that mouth moist as they're, as they're eating it. Okay, there we go. Oh, good picture. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's always hungry. Best view I've ever got of a manatee. Shared it with you. There you go, guys. The park is cool. I'll give them that. I am sweating my butt off here. I'm sweating so much because I was riding. I, I wore jeans. <laughs> Didn't bring shorts. I am hot here. There's their resident hippopotamus there. Sunbathing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get back on the boat and head back to the mainland. Get back on the bike. Get some, some wind going in my face and cool down a little bit. Yar, have you checked out Monkey Island, sir? Monkey Island? No, I haven't. What, what's the deal with that? Okay, one more stop. Let's check out Monkey Island here. So apparently, in this little channel over here, I don't hear any, but directly in front of us there, that is supposedly aptly named Monkey Island because nobody lives on it except monkeys. I don't hear or see anything. I don't know how you access it, but if you look directly in the center of the screen, there is a monkey right there on top of that piece of wood. He's not, oh wait, there he goes, moving. He, he's right in front of the house. So there is monkeys on the island. 
At least one. I think I see two over there. Kind of just sunbathing right now. Not exactly what the story behind it is, but locals here say that for many, many years, this island has been inhabited by nothing but monkeys. And nobody goes out there because they're wild and a little cranky, but they also stay on the island. So, um, pretty cool. It's now about the uh, halfway point in my day now. Time to get back and eat some healthy lunch and say hi to Jax. I've got some mail there and I want to show you where my digs are here in, in out over in, in Crystal River, Florida. So uh, I'll uh, take Roxy on back and I'll get back to you when we get home. Oh my goodness, you missed me. How could it possibly be that bad? You didn't do anything all day. You didn't do anything. You just slept all day. You want to see my new magnet? Look at this. It's got pink flamingos on it because we love Homo Sosa. Yeah, you love it too. Cool, you can nuzzle it. Oh, thanks for nuzzling that magnet for me. Oh, good boy. Yeah. I'll put that guy right there for now, but I may move it. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm back, and this is the resort vacation spot I'm at for three nights here. I've not been to this Thousand Trails Encore here. This is in, this is Crystal Isles RV Resort in Crystal River, Florida. That's kind of near the coast anyway, but this is where I'm at. It's a cozy little spot, lots of trees and shade. I don't get any TV reception with my dish antenna there, but they do have cable here. So on the other side of the RV here, you can see the coax going up into the window. It's like, got TV if I need it, but... <coughs> I'm sorry, I still got my cough. I'm in the, uh, what they call the crummiest section of the entire resort over there. I like it because it's trees and it's quiet, but you get over here and... Everybody's got, like, waterfront sites here. But, you know, in my opinion, that comes with consequence, because then you've got the noceums and the gnats coming at you. So, you know, was, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to camp right next to that murky water. Actually, bugs are now the least of my concerns after being reminded by this. Yeah, watch out for gators and snakes, too, so... But I have tested out quite a few of these uh, parks here in Florida including last year when I spent the whole winter here and this year I just came down and I'm heading back out and this is my favorite uh, everyone's different this one even allows you to wash your RV or motorcycle or tow vehicle they're very open about it they're like yeah please wash your vehicle like you realize that's not the norm in Florida it's just the way we do it okay this one site 35 opened up today and nobody came in yet it's right on the water that's a good site I've used this over here a couple times already, and I'll be using it the next three days. They got a, they got a pool. Look at this, at 3.30, nobody's using the pool. However, the hot tub over there is out of order currently. They're waiting on a part, I guess. And look at this. Not even advertised online or in the little map directory. They do have a fitness center here, minimal of... Uh, some free weights, I guess. They've got a, exercise, a bike machine, they've got my elliptical that I like, and they've got a broken down treadmill that doesn't work right now. But it's really warm in here too. They do have an air conditioner. I haven't used it yet, but you, I guess you could turn that on and use it. And even though I have my own equipment, I do like, I do like the uh, full-size elliptical. So there's some perks here. It's worth, it's worth it. It's a nice family resort. And it, you know, it's not really a campground. It's advertised as an RV resort because it's got all the other amenities and everything. but. No, it's a, it's a nice campground, where at least we're on park, so I'm happy with it. I got a couple days here, so I got maybe one more day to go explore parts of uh, south of here, the coast and stuff. We'll see, you know. I like taking the bike out, it's fun for me, so I totally don't mind sharing it with you guys. Also worth noting, this resort does not charge for packages from Amazon, like other ones, $5 per package. Um, and they don't have a card system for the laundry. You can just put quarters or dollars in. Started doing some work in the RV in there and just started, it got dark on me real quick. It's still winter. These nights are short. So it's still warm outside. So all right, so I kind of do my workout. Got one more healthy meal. And uh Jackson, I'll be back another time here in Florida. Bye guys, have a good night.